But, it's not just the egg. When a girl has her period, she sheds the lining of her I know you shed the uterine lining, but the goal of shedding egg. the uterine lining... Also, if Eve deserved it, you know original sin. Why men got an Adam's apple in their throat? Hum. Well, Adam's apple has no drawbacks, really. But, the whole point of shedding a uterine lining is to replace the eggs. Is it not? Is that not the end goal? Isn't it the whole to refresh the egg? I'm sorry. You guys don't understand. I'm a man. Let me explain to you how this fucking works. Okay. You got a woman. Okay. She's got eggs. Some shit, I guess. I don't know. Fallopian tube, I think, drops them. And she has to shed the uterine lining. Okay. To switch out the eggs. I'm not mansplaining it. I'm explaining it from a man's perspective on how the woman's body works. What is so hard? All the Pokemane feminists in my chat. What are you going to say next? It is bad to harass people? Ha! Huh! That's fucking ridiculous. Me and DeFran know the truth. <laughs> So how does it work? Why do you have to shed the uterine lining? Seven percent. How does a how does a period work? Starting your period is an important moment. But what exactly is a period? And why do millions of girls get their periods every month? Having a period is a sign of health and fertility. It's part of a monthly process called the I thought it was cycle is regulated pregnancy. On average, the menstrual cycle lasts 28 days. Although that. anything from 21 to 35 days is normal. The cycle is regulated. I used a girl who used to um, take birth control pills, and then birth control pills, I believe, are like, like twenty-one days of actual like hormone blockers or whatever it does, and then seven days of sugar pills, just so you can cycle it, and then she would skip the sugar pills, so she would never have a period, and I was like, that seems weird, but yeah, go go off. It didn't feel like that was healthy. But I don't know. It's okay? Is that fine? All right. All right. By hormones, little messengers produced by the brain and ovaries. It has four phases, menstruation, pre-ovulation, ovulation, and pre-menstruation. Menstruation is when the lining of the uterus is shed through the vagina as menstrual fluids. Okay. This can last anywhere from three to seven days. But you why? You only lose about four to 12 teaspoons of menstrual fluid during your periods, and not all of this is blood. In order to stay confident and protected during this time, try always hey, breathing- Hey, hey, hey! Guys, no dance games in my chat. It is the human body. We respect it. Pog champ. That women do this so we can have children that we bear. What is this fucking sponsored by always? You can use whatever you want. Teen pads. They are made of flex foam so they can be thin and flexible without skipping out on protection. Mm. During the next phase, the brain sends messages to the Kinda ovaries looks like and it's uterus. Holding the ovaries. <laughs> Like this is the like this is the main vagina dude and he's like holding he's got a little oh, his eggs he hold got my fucking eggs here. 
eggs to produce hormones Got called estrogen hands. and progesterone. These hormones prepare an egg for release and cause the lining of the uterus or endometrium to thicken. You may notice thicker vaginal discharge around this time and choose to wear always daily liners to keep you feeling fresh. <laughs> or another fucking brand, you shill. Imagine like a young, impressionable girl watching this, you know? She just had her first period. Mom's at work, out of the picture, whatever. You're, my man. you're like, what the fuck do I do? You look up a video, it comes up, and you're like, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. With always daily liners. Without these, you're fucked. But with these, you'll be safe and protected. Otherwise, you'll be an embarrassing, cringe mess at school. <laughs> 14 days before your next period, a mature egg is released from one of your ovaries into the fallopian tube. Okay. This is called ovulation. If fertilized by a sperm cell, the egg will lodge in the endometrium and start a pregnancy. Right. If it's not fertilized, the endometrium is no longer needed and starts to break down. This is the beginning of the premenstrual phase. During this phase, you may get cramps. You may also feel a bit more emotional than usual. Or cry. experience bloating, breakouts, tender breasts. This is known as premenstrual My syndrome God. or PMS and can be eased by a healthy diet, light exercise, or taking a warm bath. Finally, the endometrium starts to leave the uterus and your period and menstrual cycle start again. So that's it. Now you know how the menstrual cycle works. Okay. So, eggs only last a little bit, but you're the the you make a little home for the egg, and then you got to make a new home because the home's not gonna last forever. So that's the main discharge is the home for the egg, aka the uterine lining. In the other word that I lost, that I forgot. Works. Okay. Make sure you're. Makes sense. That makes sense. Like I knew, oh, and be sure, wait for it. Stocked up on the right products. And look. Wait, are those competitors? Is always in Tampax the same company? Out for your friends, especially in the days leading up to their period. They are? My God. Oh, it's buy always. I just watched a fucking commercial. <laughs> Take the quiz? No, because if I get a perfect score, they're going to be like a 5% off coupon code for an always fucking Brazier combo tampon. What? Birth control is like blood bending in Avatar. I think I follow you 0%. <laughs> All right, hold up. We're about to do 